That's it, bro. I'm done supporting Call of Duty. They promised us so many things with Season 3, and we were supposed to be back, and we're not. I'm never spending another single dollar on this game ever again. Two seconds later. This Battle Pass looks pretty sick. Dude, the Black Cell Battle Pass includes Premium Battle Pass. Oh, this is sick. I'm going to buy this. Let's go. So Call of Duty Season 3 just dropped yesterday, and it's caused a lot of controversy online, especially on Twitter. So let's sit down, let's have a little conversation, and let's go over a few key points. So with this update, it was very hyped up, and a lot of people are super stoked. Hey, Warzone is back, baby. And to everyone's disbelief, the update was not what it lived up to be. And there's a lot of creators that are coming under attack online right now because they hyped it up saying that Warzone could be back. And uh, they're getting a lot of backlash from their comments. So I just wanted to make a quick little video and talk about it. And, uh, and first and foremost, let's just get this out of the way. No matter what people say online, maybe they overhyped it. Maybe they're, they made you think to believe that this Warzone is going to be back. It's not their fault. And you shouldn't be sending death threats to them. You shouldn't be all up in their DMs, like, threatening their family and stuff. Like, if you do that, you're freaking lame, <laughs> okay? There's nothing, this is nothing new to Call of Duty. Before Warzone, every year when, when the new Call of Duty came out, the guy, everyone was always overhyping it. If you were in the position of these creators, you would probably be doing the same thing because it's probably pretty dope to be able to get the inside information to these events to what's coming out in the game, and I guarantee every single one of you would be doing the same thing. Now, as we did find out yesterday, I mean, I'll put a, post a picture in this video, that there was um, they were on a developer call before the update went live, but they did not get to see any of the updates they were talking about, and they were the developers promised a lot of these creators these things that will be changing in the game, and then come to find out a lot of these things were not implemented or maybe not to the level of what they were thinking. And so it's kind of making a lot of these creators that were pretty stoked, pretty hyped for the game coming out or for the update coming out and making them look bad. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't be blaming the creators that are talking about it. You should be blaming the developers of the game because ultimately they're the ones that's controlling everything. They might listen to what these other people say, but at the end of the day, they're the ones making the decisions and you are the one that keeps spending money on this game. Now, one of the things that did come out that does work very well is the Black Cell Battle Pass which is now $30 and it's kind of the next level battle pass that you can get into. And um, as you can see here, we'll go over here to the live screen. If we go over to the store, top three on Steam right now, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Black Cell. So all you people that are complaining about this game, about this game not doing anything, you're not helping it. You're spending your money on this thing. This top three on Steam, bro. Look at the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is 2. This is they've been doing this for years, and at the end of the day, they're going to keep doing this. And I do think they are making changes to get this game back to how it probably will will and should be, but it ain't going to happen overnight. And you guys got to stop spending your money if you really want to make a difference on Call of Duty and really, really hit them deep, cut them deep. Stop spending money on the game. Stop playing the game. You know, we're not going to go into the whole Bud Light thing, but look how much Bud Light stock has dipped in the last couple of days because of the situation that they are going through because they pissed off people. People stopped buying their product and boycotting it. If you really want to make a change for Call of Duty, boycott playing Call of Duty, boycott spending money on this game, just boycott it in general. That's all you got to do. Will you do it though? Probably not. Or you could just have, you could be more on someone like my position where you're not totally against the game and you're not totally for it. You enjoy it for what it is, and at the end of the day, you play other games. That's my that's my big big spiel on this. Is um, if you guys really want to make a difference, you got to hit them deep in the pockets. Um, Activision is a billion dollar company, so old. I mean, they're gonna take baby steps to get in there. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, ranked Warzone will make a big difference, and they'll continue to improve. But it does seem like yesterday's update was a massive disappointment, even for people that have been pretty positive for the game. Um, and we can only hope that it will, uh, it'll make a comeback. If not, I guess it's time to find another game. But anyways, I haven't checked out the update myself yet. We'll be playing that tonight on stream. We'll be streaming here on YouTube and kick tonight and most likely playing this game on our Twitch. So if you guys haven't followed us already or subscribe, subscribe to us on the YouTube, smash the like button, 
Leave a comment on what you think of uh, the new update for Call of Duty. And uh, we hope to catch you guys in the next one. All right. Peace.